guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. In today's video, we're gonna mix a little bit of quilting, a little bit of cross stitch, and you're gonna have a personalized cross stitch gift for your loved ones. So, let's get started. Now we're starting with the stocking and the hanger that we made on steps one through eight on our quilting channel. So we've linked that video below, so go there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross stitch some initials using the cross stitch alphabet and this is my initials Kimberly and Jolly and we're going to talk through how we did that. For our cross stitch fabric we're using 25 count Lugana in the tomato color and we stitched with B5200 and that matched our quilting fabric. You're going to cut this rectangle 9 by 16 and a half and that is your cuff size. We do recommend serging or zigzag stitching around the edge because you are going to be using this a lot and you don't want any fraying. From here, you're gonna fold it in half and finger press. Then you're gonna fold it the other way and finger press. And so now you have four quadrants. You're gonna stitch on this one. To do that, I'm gonna use a friction pin this is gonna be your seam allowance right here. So visually, I'm just doing this so visually you can see where to place your stitches. So this will be sewn into your stocking. So now you wanna find the center between your fold and a quarter inch away, which is your seam allowance. So from there, that is eight inches. So four inches is your center. There's your center and then you wanna find your center the other direction. That's four and three eighths, so you need two and two quarters. So right here's the center. So what we did there is we found the center, but we accounted for having this quarter inch seam in your cuff. So by doing the quarter inch around, we have found the center. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the large letter from the cross stitch alphabet for your last name. And then you're gonna figure out your spacing left and right for your first and middle name. And what you can do is just get some graph paper and draw it out to make sure you visually like it. Then just go ahead and stitch it. And this is how ours look. And from here, we're gonna attach the cuff to the stocking. We're gonna put our Lugana right sides together and we're gonna stitch right here a quarter inch away from the edge and you do want to back stitch when you start and stop. Now we're still on step nine. With your initials facing up, what you want to do is fold your cuff to create the cuff and you're just going to put wrong sides together and really what you want to do is use some wonder clips and get this lined up at the top. And I wouldn't press or anything like that. I would just use your hands and then just make sure that it's all lined up at the top. And when you get over here to the edge, what you can do is you can push one seam to the right and one seam to the left and kind of nest them just to remove bulk. You don't have to do that, but that will just make it kind of remove the bulk and then in the top right, you're gonna open up your stocking, put your hanger right on this corner and wonder clip it down. And that's how it looks. Now I want my toe to go to the left and I want this to be at the top. So if you want your stocking to go the other way, just make sure you pay attention to that. So I've got my stocking to the left, my initials up. I'm gonna push this in. And when I do that, I am gonna line up the edges. Keep your hanger in there and then line up the edge of your Lugana and then we're going to just wonder clip all the way around the top making sure all the fabric is together and you've created a circle. Now what we're going to do is stitch all the way around the edge and we're going to start where the hanger is and then when we get back around the edge just sew over your previous stitches about half an inch and we're gonna remove the bed of our sewing machine so it makes it a little bit easier. And again, a quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. 
So from here, you're just gonna pull this. Now it's gonna be kind of tough because the cross stitch fabric is pretty thick. And you're gonna see that this tomato colored Lugana really, really matches our Merry Little Christmas fabric from Bonnie and Camille. And then what you'll do is you'll just press right here because you want this white and red to be pressed right there. So you'll just press all the way around. So with our fat quarter stocking template and a little bit of cross stitch, you can personalize Christmas gifts for your loved ones. I hope all of you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you.